Empire Brewery's new farmstead location is gaining some popularity. Our Brandon Roth is live right now in Casanova to check it out and give us a behind the scenes look. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Lisa. That's right. We're at the Empire Farmstead Brewery, which is just opened here in Casanova, and we've got a special sneak peek behind the tours. Last half hour, we showed you uh, their production, their brewery. Now we're in the tasting or the tap room here with Tim Butler. Tim. How are you Good doing again? You. Good to hey, see you. We, we're, let's get right to it because one of the things that you guys are known for, we talked a half hour, is using local products sure. uh, to put into your beers to make some really unique beers. So this is one of the ones here. Now tell us a little bit about the Deep Purple. Sure. So this is our Deep Purple. Uh, for the first time, it's available this week uh, coming out in bottles and these specialty four packs that you see. Um, Deep Purple is a beer made with locally grown New York State Concord grapes. Yeah. Um, they come from all over the Finger Lakes region. They're sent to a place... Uh, just outside of Canandaigua called the Growers Cooperative, and they transform it into an ingredient that we can use to get it in the beer. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it's a nice deep purple in color. That's where it gets its name from. Um, and it has a really nice, uh, clean, tart uh, Concord grape finish. It's not sweet, right. as some people might think it would be, but it does not finish sweet at all. Um, and it has about a 7.2% alcohol by volume. So Of course, this one has no alcohol. This was a special <laughs> one made for me to taste test. Wow. It's nice, right? Yeah, yeah. That is very amazing. interesting. That different, is great. Different beer. Wow, something that, that is you're really something. Gonna... You know, and our producer Brittany has been raving about your coffee grind. Yeah, and this one has actually has coffee in it. Yep, this is what we call local grind. Um, we did this in collaboration with Cafe Kubal, which we, we, we were just at their them. We all this know and yeah. know and love those guys. Yeah. So this is going to be coming out as our second uh, limited release four pack seasonal. Uh, mm -hmm. This is going to be released in November, so I'm going to be brewing it here in about four or five weeks. So. This has caffeine, has coffee in it. Yeah, it does yeah. have coffee right. in it. And, so, you know, the amounts of caffeine is very minuscule well, right. compared to, like, it doesn't have as much as, like, a singular cup of coffee. Oh, I think that's a good thing. Well, yeah, I, 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 I want to, this can technically replace my morning coffee. It now, could. It could. It has coffee. As long caffeine, as you got a so. driver. <laughs> wow. It's nice, right? Nice breakfast yeah, beer. Yeah, I mean, that is really something. Yep. That, both of these are great. Thank you. Thanks. This is really something. And we should say, get a quick shot. This is your new tap room here yep. we get a quick shot uh, here because in addition to your local beer you have food and you have locally grown products in your food right yeah as we talked about earlier yeah. the uh, the beef comes from right across the street we uh, source a lot of our vegetables lo locally we yeah. do a lot of with gray rock farm here in Kaz. Um, our cheese is local it comes from yeah. meadows farm uh, meadowwood farm up the street and as you well have 33 so. acres and you're growing your own hops you're growing lavender yep. you're growing all these things that are going into your food here exactly uh, here and in your armory square that's right we right. do we go back and forth between right. beers that we produce there, go yeah. go downtown, and beers that are produced downtown come up here. Yeah. I do want to mention real quick that our tap room is open on Thursdays through Sundays, right. so we're not open every day of the week. We right. do have people coming out Monday to Wednesday. Yeah. They're yeah. a little disappointed, but Thursday yeah. through Sunday, 1130 to 10-ish, okay. uh, kitchens open the whole time, and on the weekends, Saturday and Sundays, we have just begun doing brewery tours, so if you're interested in seeing well, yeah. a little bit more of what's going on out there. that tour is tremendous. Yeah, you really got to see the Sunday. operation, the whole operation here, guys. Empire Farmstead Brewery. I'll give you a cheers local. to that one. Cheers. Thanks for stopping by. Local Appreciate products, it. local brewery, doing some big things, guys. That's nice, Brandon. Cheers. I'm having mm. iced tea. Okay. You're having beer. Yeah, my <laughs> coffee's over here. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs>